So we talked a little earlier with Ty from the Natural Partners about go out this integration of the solutions. And Kathy or not text to show us the USP distribution device we talked about earlier. So basically, you have six chambers, and she'll explain to you what we're going to do is we're going to take multi, multiple vitamins. These are nationally long multiples that people take one tablet a day or two tablets a day. They're advertised all over the place. And they're actually tablets. And we're going to look at their disintegration. We'll see that will happen. We've already shown that downstairs. But we'll see how much they dissolve. And that's the important part. So we have two national multis. And then we took some foreign basic nutrients, which are capsules. We actually used a different flowing agent than magnesium stearate. Got one that I came up with a few years ago. We don't make tablets, but you can actually make these into tablets. And the difference in disintegration and dissolution is amazing. So, Kathy's going to take and do the experiment, and we're going to come back later once it's going, and we'll see how it goes. So, if you want to show Kathy how that's done, this machine actually simulates the human stomach, and it's the USP dissolution procedure. It's called for by pharmaceutical companies. So you've got how many chambers in there? We have a total of six here, um, and they allow us to take a maximum amount of data to be able to get a comprehensive look at what these products. So this is body temperature? Yep. These are set to body temperature, and these will each simulate what the stomach does in order to make the nutrients bioavailable. So in a normal test, the, the liquid that's inside of each one of these chambers is actually uh, 0.1 N hydrochloric acid mixture, which is what's called for the USP. And that's to simulate true, full amount of stomach acid that a person with normal digestion has. What we've done is we've already run this test before with that, and we've gotten certain results. And now we're doing it with someone who has a very bad digestive system, and perhaps they eat a piece of toast, and their stomach pH comes up to neutral, very quickly, and it doesn't go back down to 1.2 or 1.1, which is where you would want your stomach pH. So we're doing it like this is your great aunt filled up with a very bad digestive system, and the pH is neutral. So we're going to see how these things dissolve. And one of the ingredients that we're going to analyze for is a water-soluble ingredient, and that's vitamin C. And we showed you that downstairs earlier about the dissolution of vitamin C. Since it's water-soluble, it should, as soon as the tablet breaks down, you can see that it is starting to. All of that powder will disintegrate from the tablet form, and then it should, if it's water soluble, go into solution very quickly because it's vitamin C and it's water soluble. Now, what Kathy's done is she's already fixed all of the water samples in here with EDTA, which is a preservative, so that nothing else can affect this. It allows the vitamin C to stay absolutely potent when she's going to analyze it later. So we'll come back in a moment and we'll look at this while she has all the apparatus together. At this point, we're one hour into the dissolution process. We're going to take a sample from each of these vessels and we're going to analyze it for ascorbic acid on the HPLC. Great. And then the tablet that we had made 
it was basically, yes, we formed the capsule product which we had made in the tablets with a different cloning agent and magnesium stearate. Right. The thorn products came in at 95.20% recovery for So basically what we're, we're looking at is that um, you protect the vitamin C so that it wouldn't degrade the right. DHEA right. in the beginning, and then uh, you put it in the solution at body temperature with a neutral pH so it simulates someone with a bad digestive system. Right. And even in those conditions, the tablets only got respectively about 15 and 18 percent of the vitamin C. So when in the solution dissolved, it will be available for someone to actually absorb. Exactly. 